Invincible Season 2, Episode Number 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of Invincible last week. The return, well, I don't want to say the return, but the introduction of some characters that are very familiar to old characters we lost, right? We got introduced to Nightboy, Darkwing's sidekick yes i am gonna call him his sidekick mark ended up knocking him out taking him back to cecil curious as to how he's gonna come into play to this the end of the episode we went to the atlantis type city mark fought the giant monster big thing big take takeaway from that i feel like is the fact that it made that loud screeching sound and it actually hurt mark which was a surprise and cecil you know told his guys to get on it because again mark is half human but he's also part viltrumite you know, so maybe this is something that can actually hurt Omni-Man or somewhat combat him for when he does come back. Because let's be honest, at some point he definitely has to come back. Now, this is episode three. We have one more episode after this. And then there was the mid-season um, break. But I believe there was only one week after me filming episode four for the new season to come out. So we're going to jump right into that when it does come out. But guys, I'm here for I'm excited for it. I'm loving the show as always. If you've been watching the reactions, you guys know. I'm loving it. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on a new channel. You do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below to you guys on next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Someone murdered the Guardians of the Globe last night. Yeah. Oh, are we going to see some more characters way. return? Alan! Our planets will want to hear about you. Our boy. What's this? something that helped me oh she gonna do that this episode seth rogan voices alan don't he are we gonna see alan today time to push my baby bird out of the nest it's a good thing i can already fly college <laughs> you can be okay right you know i can be home in like five minutes if you need me i'll be fine college is a fresh start and i want you to enjoy every second of uh, it. this is your chance to figure out who you are and i don't mean invincible mm -hmm. i mean mark grayson yeah my only son Good for Mark, you know, but sad for his mom. She lost her husband in that way, now losing her son, too. This is going to be really hard for her, man. Yeah, this is coming back. I wonder what it is, though, bro. A card like that, mysterious. I got your card from my friend Olga. My name is Debbie. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, uh, sorry. No last names, Debbie, but Olga told me about you. I've been expecting your call interesting no last name when it's on the door handle like so it means go eat a taco or fly to spain or do whatever you have to do but don't come in until the sock is gone and i will do the same for you got it hi Damn. um <laughs> there's some stuff out here does it belong to you guys oh toys uh they're collectibles yep stay true to who you are man no Stay true to who you are, man. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <sighs> who has sex on the first day of college? I don't know, Mark. Lots of people, probably. Yeah. Us, for example. <clears throat> Us? Ooh. My roommate doesn't arrive until tomorrow, so... They haven't yet, right? That. <laughs> I bought these. Okay. She came prepared. Good, good to have those. Fit. <laughs> That's the brand for this universe. You don't have like super sperm or something. Do yeah. You? <laughs> Probably. Uh, it's not. I mean, it seems normal. And you wouldn't accidentally crush me or something. Like if you get excited, I've seen what you can do. Maybe. No. If Mark had a kid with her, she, they probably would have superpowers, right? It probably wouldn't be as strong as Mark because it'd be like, what, a fourth Viltrumite? This missive, this machination. I thought we were going back to Viltrumite, to, Unopen, to Viltrum. A peaceful and thriving world. The Unopens had achieved harmony with nature. Alan's people. Until everything oh. changed in the blink of an yep. eye. Like a plague of unequal potency, a dark force invaded Unopa, biding their time for decades. They waited for a that moment a younger of and Omniman? rebelled. <laughs> There's got to be some type of kryptonite for these guys. Damn. So brutal. Ooh. They started breeding camps on various Unopan outposts to rebuild their population. All those legs. The rumors of which caught some very powerful galactic attention. The Viltrumite campaign has become the scourge of the galaxy. 
and we stand united against it. Except y'all ain't doing shit. Marvin explained to Thetas that the breeding camps were also a genetic enhancement program designed mm. to breed a soldier that could defeat a Viltrumite in combat. Damn, that's why some of them look fucked up. Alan. He was the first and only success. From the day he was born, Alan was trained to be the greatest fighter the universe had ever known. Even before adulthood, mm. an opponent could not be found who didn't fall to his might. I don't know, Mark seemed like he beat Alan pretty quick, but I guess they ended up just talking. But while stronger than most of the universe, Alan still couldn't match even a single Viltrumite in combat. Mm. The program was considered a failure and ended. Damn. Instead, Alan was made a planetary evaluation officer and sent to discover any being yep. able to defeat him in hope of finding an ally strong enough to withstand a Viltrumite. To change the entire universe, you have to be... Alan, <laughs> instead of Invincible, the alien. I love it. Damn, so Alan's like a super soldier essentially too. Oh, so is this after he fought Mark? Him going back to tell him about him? The Viltrumites hit Acreon while you were gone. Ooh. What? They just joined the council. It's terrified the sector. Other planets we were talking to cut all communications. We need more allies. His name is Mark, and he's only half Viltrumite. I don't think that's the same dude, but maybe one of his people, the crazy fighter from last season. When he got his powers, all he wanted to do was help other humans. Then his father decided it was time to conquer the planet, so they, they got in a fight about it. Viltrumite against Viltrumite. Half. That has not happened since the Great Purge. The Great Purge, and yeah. This, after they fought, we learned about that. Left. Like left the planet, disappeared completely. We could never trust one of them. Alan is right. Mm. Veltramites never abandoned their missions. Yet one has. Perhaps Viltrum's grip on the galaxy is not as steady as we imagine. We know Mark's dad. Omni Man could have easily killed Mark if he really wanted to. So imagine if another Viltramite came, they would just kill Mark. Right? Like, Mark cannot even hold his own against one. He didn't hold his own against his dad. His dad was just taking it easy because he was trying to convert him. It's cool we're getting to expand on this world. I know they talked about it, but getting to see it. I find it convenient and somewhat alarming that Acreon was hit so soon after joining the Coalition. It's as if the Viltrumites had knowledge from inside the Council. Mm. You want me to discover if someone's betrayed us? Ah, Alan, you continue to prove yourself the Coalition's most valuable asset. <laughs> Bro, I could have figured that out. Come on. If there's a mole, I'll find them. Unless he's the mole, right? The head. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Tentacles. Mm -hmm. I, uh, perhaps now would be a good time to return to Earth and to rejoin Mark. Amber Bennett and Mark Grayson as they <laughs> begin their studies at the prestigious Upstate University. Mm -hmm. That was a nice little way to catch oh, up on. I see. Uh, no, on let's Alan. not do that then. Uh, 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 well, um, uh, ah, 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 ah. here we find the Unopen feline. It's the cat of this fucking world. Hey, what did they just want to talk about after the council meeting? Um, <laughs> maybe she's Look, I'm not the really mole. To, uh... Oh no, and she's using him. I'm supposed to. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that Omni Man? No, but that looks like a Viltrumite. Damn. You will tell us everything about your encounter with the Viltrumite of Earth. I Damn. Mean, not technically a question. If <laughs> yep, they do have a mole for sure. Wow. The father. Which one was he again? You Pyclops all kind of look the same to me. Dude, don't tell me he's gonna die. Shit. Bro, these motherfuckers out here comboing him. Wow. Damn.
Oh my god, they really just killed off Alan, huh? Dude, oh, I thought maybe his girl was the mole, but it couldn't have been her. Oh, he's still alive? What? Well, I mean, they did say he was from, you know, a program and stuff. Maybe maybe he doesn't <clears throat> operate Great the same. Davis. You should get some rest. Go. I think I he's the mole. Over him. He's the he's the head of this shit. He honestly looks like he could be a very, very old Viltrumite. Yeah, that's him, bro. That's him. Maybe he is a Viltrumite. Forgive me, Alan. Wow. No. That was not 50 minutes. Okay, we're going back to marking them. Dude, maybe he's. Maybe he's not a Viltrumite, but he's just doing this because he's scared. I called it, man. You cheated on me with the immortal. That's what you think happened? Seriously? And even if that was true, you were cheating on Eve with me first. <laughs> okay, but that worked out in your favor. If you add up the amount of time my duplicates and I have lived, we are probably the same age. Damn. I don't think that's the same, though. The immortal's the only person I've ever met who's died as many times as I have. Maybe you don't understand that, but it means something. Uh, at least I'm not a cheater. But you literally yeah. are. Yeah. But that was before. Ugh, nah. I'm not now. No, you, no, 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 no. Dude's a piece of shit. But like, Kate, when her duplications go away, I don't count that as her dying, right? Like, that's not the same. I set up this visual feedback system so I could practice controlling my fear response via meditation and active thought. Mm. Are you sure that's a good idea? People feel fear for a reason, and it's usually a good reason. Yep. Fight or flight. Just need to learn to control it. Fear hasn't just made me useless in battle. It's prevented me from doing something else I've wanted to do for quite some time. Will you go to a movie with me? Yeah. A movie? Oh, <laughs> sure. Sure, Rudy. I'll, I'll go to a movie with you. They're already dating, though, right? They talk about the physical symptoms of grief, depression, <coughs> lethargy, all that. Uh, but something of superhero spouses, maybe. I still miss her so much. That's all I got. Thanks, Theo. I don't know. She's like next level. You know what I mean? Her, her husband was Omni Man. Like these people, their their spouses probably died and shit, not did the killing. We're not that different from other support groups, except we're even more strict when it comes to identity. First names only you aren't required to share till you're ready but that's why we're all sacrificing a tuesday night so might as well make the most of it mm. bathrooms down the hall coffee tastes like battery acid any questions i think you covered it yeah i got a question who was your uh husband what did he do like how she i'm assuming she's the one who created this group don't take this the wrong way but there's a bar down the street some of us like to go to after group oh yeah, I just figured since it seems like neither of us wants to go home, but no pressure, of course. Sure. I, I like I, I was nervous to this at first, and then when I saw his group, I was like, all right, we chill. Now I I don't know. Two tickets for midnight slaughter. That's rated R. I see. And you need your parents to buy you R-rated tickets. That's ridiculous. How does a parent's presence change a film's suitability for the underage? It changes True. it in that I don't get fired for selling you a ticket. Hey, it's fine. They're my kids. They can see the movie. Ten bucks for two tickets, I wish. I know these aren't good for me, but... Oh, shut up. A good burger and fries is one of the greatest pleasures in life. Yes, um, I'm discovering that. <laughs> He's got to learn, man. It's, it's interesting because I forget that because of how he was before, he, he doesn't have experience in life with a lot of things, man. And he's been doing the superhero shit. You can still be angry. That's okay. God knows I am. Thanks. It's good to talk with someone who understands. Hmm. I wish I could tell you it gets easier, but Alana's been gone nearly a year, and I still oh. reach across the bed for her. Is that one of the morning. ones Omni-Man killed from Guardians? Alana? You mean... Yeah. She was the green ghost. Damn. Guess I just broke rule number one of SOS. That's why we saw her at the start too, right? In the flashback. Oh my God, you had sex with Amber. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what? William, 
How was it? I want all the details. <laughs> no, no. Okay, well, what about you? How was Mr. Is this your stuff? Hmm? What are you talking about? That hot guy from they earlier. They just left the sock on, came on back accident, and you had the right? sock on the door. Oh. Oh, I wish. I must have forgotten to take it off after yep. my demonstration. <laughs> I bet you did. Mark Grayson? Alien? Maybe someone from the council? Or the Coalition of Planets? Mark Grayson! Oh, shit. I need your help. <laughs> Shapesmith? Dude, I don't know. I think it's Shapesmith. I'm oh. sorry. My disguise was meant to disarm or not. you. I thought if I appeared as something you loved... Disarm me for what? Please, I'm not a threat. The journey to your world has taken me most of my life. Oh. May I rise? If you answer my questions... My people sent me to plead for your help. Thraxa? It's a couple galaxies away, uh, give or take. I mean, not give very far. Take. You go... It doesn't matter. How do you know who I am? Rumors of the one they call Invincible have spread like wildfire. How many bug people are in danger? All of them. But like a number. Oh, 42 billion. Damn! Billion? The Guardians can keep an eye on things while I'm gone. I won't be more than a few weeks, a month, tops. Month? Depending on asteroid traffic. This is an order. Do not go. Damn. I need to listen to myself before I listen to you. Yep. Your father felt the same way. Oh, just like Amber said. I don't know, though. Fuck. Uh, I have to go away for a few weeks to space again. Like, right now? A lot of people are going to die if I don't. I'm sorry, but no, I... Stop, stop. Don't apologize. Never apologize for saving lives. This is the deal, and I'm good with it. Go. She's supportive, man. Everybody was hating on her in season one. She just needed to understand the situation and know what was going on and not be lied to. And look, she's supportive. Be careful. Ah. Always. There's a pause, like a I love Amber, you was gonna I come. Am. Yeah. I love you. Damn. It cut out. Hopefully something bad don't happen. I hope this dude ain't fucking with him. It takes time to heal. I can't heal because my husband's not dead. He's just gone. He's gone because because he murdered Alana and the other guardians and almost killed my son too. Your husband, your husband's Omni-Man. I thought he was Nolan Grayson, but that wasn't true. The last 20 years of my life have been a lie. You shouldn't come back to the group. Wouldn't be a safe space with you there. Damn. I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. You should have. How could she have known, dude? I get he's grieving and shit, but like, how could she have known at all? What a piece of shit. I get, <laughs> ah, bro, like, how could she have known? You see the pain she's in. You see what happened. Like, come on, man. Damn, six days have passed, isn't it? Where's the uh, meteor shower? I don't Wait, trust this. What exactly about this planet needs saving? Where are the meteors? Meteors? What meteors? what I tell you? May I present Invincible of Earth? Oh. <clears throat> It. Who's it gonna be? Ain't no oh, way it's Omni Man. Oh fuck! It's been a while. Oh fuck! Dad? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, oh, oh dude, has he become peaceful and changed after what happened? Oh fuck! I don't think there's any repair in the relationships that, that that have been damaged, my man. Oh my god, what? Do we have any extra after credit scenes this week? Normally we do. Is it just ending like that? I mean, at least this was episode, you know, three, and not episode four. You know, we got one more episode. Like, at least we didn't end there. But like, fuck, that was still a crazy spot to end. What's gonna happen? Do we really not have any after credits for this week? Well, I mean, I guess technically that whole thing was like an after credit per se for uh, is for the Allen show. So I guess probably not, but season two, episode three of Invincible is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode and what an ending. Dude looks different. Dude looks peaceful. Dude looks at, you know, peace with himself, man. Maybe he went through some change after he left Earth. 
and he maybe he saved this planet from the meteor shower right maybe that's what happened and that's what he was remembering but he sent him to get mark because he knew there was no other way to get mark there he wants to talk to him probably say i've changed this and that maybe he'll end up saving earth maybe he'll end up start going against the viltrumites i don't know but dude i know debbie's never gonna forgive him i know earth is never gonna forgive him like how how what an episode though dude alan rest in peace um i don't know if the leader of the coalition of planets what his kind of angle is why he's being a self mole so to speak but maybe maybe i don't know maybe the viltrumites went straight to him something along those lines but either way fantastic episode and fantastic show i absolutely love it dude we got one more episode left and then we have a week break luckily <coughs> my timing for this was almost perfect if i would have started a week later it literally would have been perfect but nonetheless i'm gonna wait uh that week gap so i can watch the second half of this season when it comes out but things really just took a twist i've been into the show since it came back but now dude omni man making a return oh so excited to see what's in store for next week but guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access in the next episode if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie alexander collins and the homie christopher larimer your guys' support is much appreciated if you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.